it's Lynn here. I hope you have an incredible day. Now in this video, I'm going to be harvesting the seed from my Mammillaria um, spinosissima. <laughs> that's the name and it's the there's a few different varieties of the spinosima but this particular one is known as the red-headed Irishman as you can see because it has loads of red um, ginger coloured spines and quite funny considering actually you live in Ireland and um, it's known as the red-headed Irishman and not that I have an Irishman my man is Swedish <laughs> but um, I just thought the name is funny anyway and I've already made a video on how to harvest the seeds from Mammillaria cacti. So if you haven't seen that video, please do check the links up above, guys. That goes into a complete how-to on how to harvest these seeds. Um, so I don't need to do the whole, uh, whole thing again showing you what you have to do. Now just check the video up above and um, this video is just going to be more of a little video vlog really of me harvesting the seeds from uh, my mammy Laria Spinosima red-headed Irishman cactus <laughs> and what I've done and I mentioned with all every time I harvest seeds from cacti and succulents or any plant always make sure that you I use these little tiny little bags um, that I get from in here where I live in Ireland there's a little smoke shop and no I don't smoke guys this is um, purely from the shop and they're great though for putting uh, seeds in and they're just the right size and obviously I label the bags and obviously what the plant is in this case it's Mammillaria spinosissima and obviously the date you've harvested it you can even put the month or the I usually find the season um, in this case it's spring 2017 and always make sure you use an airtight bag so the seeds don't get damp and mouldy. Um, and if you haven't got a bag, you can also use a, a dry envelope as well, as long as it's kept in a dry place. In this case, unfortunately, I live in a house that's horribly damp. So I have no alternative but to use a little transparent bag. But um, I find it work a treat for storing them as well. And then it's cacti seeds, as I've mentioned in my how-to videos before, they, they can keep up to several years. So as long as they're stored in a cool place away from direct sun, and um, you know that they, they keep for many years so and then they're ready for when you sow them now what I also do as well is I use a, a card because once I've harvested the seeds I catch the, the seeds in there and then it's easier then I use it as a little funnel then to, to put it in there but as I say I mention all that in the how-to video and also I usually use a piece of um tissue as well or, or um, kitchen roll to absorb any of the uh, pulp which helps to absorb the seed in this case I'm not using this this time because as you can see I'll just show you I pulled one out earlier there the seed uh, pods are actually completely dry so I don't need to worry about any removing any of the pulp as such it would just literally come apart and as you can see there's tons of seeds in there so it's just a case of cracking them open and um, getting all the seeds out and obviously I'm going to be doing that and I'm going to do a couple just to, just to show you here but because it's obviously going to take um, a while I don't want to bore you all and have a very long video of me getting all these seeds out I'm just going to do a couple couple on there on the plate and then I'm going to then show you what all of the uh, the seeds are like once they're out and as I've mentioned in the how-to videos you always separate the the seeds from the pulp usually using a usually using a dry tissue but because these the, these seeds are ready, the, sorry, the fruit is already dried. It's actually a lot easier to remove the fruit. So it doesn't matter whether you use it with a damp, t uh, sorry, a dry tissue or or not. But um, because the the pulp is usually damp, you normally need a, dr a dry tissue to absorb the damp. In this case, it's all dried up, so it's much easier to remove. And then I'm going to be doing this. Obviously, the the empty part the the dried up part of the, the fruit once there's no seed left put a lot more seeds in there you just put that aside and um, then I'm going to do this with all of these all going all around here and then I'm going to show you the uh, the finished result so just put that aside there and just do another one here as you know as you can imagine it's going to be quite time consuming <laughs> but it's very therapeutic guys as I say they're just cracking open the um, the dry dry uh, fruit there and look at all that seed I don't really see um, look at that, I just showed. Isn't that wonderful? All the seeds inside. I love harvesting seeds from my cacti, guys. And um, just gently, um, gently pull the seed out. It should come away very easily. And uh, as I say, I've done a how to video on this already on how to harvest mammillaria seeds. So, again, if, if don't want to sound like a parrot, <laughs> but um, 
if you want to know how to do it properly in great detail, then um, check out the link up above to how to harvest them. Um, and also there's lots of uh, playlists on how I um, harvest a lot of different types of cacti seeds because they're all very different and they're all different uh, types of fruit and everything. And there's different ways of harvesting them depending on uh, what type of cactus uh, plant or succulent that uh, you're harvesting the seeds from. So as you can see, there's all the, the seed on the plate there. And I'm putting the empty... Uh, Empty shells and the dried pieces of pulp aside um, on the table. And I'm going to show you, just move that so you can see the seeds a bit better. I'm going to show you the finished results. Now, a little bit of a tip, guys. Um, if it's difficult for you to get in to pull the seed pods out because of the, obviously, the spines and you don't want to get yourself stabbed, a little pair of tweezers works a treat. Just get right down there. Obviously, you don't want to squash it too hard to damage the seeds. Gently pull. And obviously, if it's ready to, to pull away, harvest um, anyway, it should come away really easy, as in this case. And um, that's just how easy it is. Now, I've got all the seeds here all onto the, on the plate and I've removed all the dried pieces of fruit and pulp and I've put some already into the little envelope there. And what I recommend you do is always, when you're handling with seeds, put a sheet of white paper because it collects any of the seeds that happen to fall off. It's easy to see them. And um, obviously don't do this outside because the wind will blow all the seeds away. But um, what I do, as I say, I've already explained it all in, in the how-to, so <laughs> this is just me doing a bit of a, a video vlog of me harvesting these seeds. And um, put them all into there. As I say, a piece of white paper is great for catching any of the seeds that happen to come away that you don't see. And, um, oops, that's it there. And, uh, fold it up. And then put it all into there. Now it's good using a piece of, of card because it helps to um, act as a little bit of a shoot so it directs it better into the little envelope or the paper bag. In this case, I'm using one of my business cards. <laughs> and um, there you go with the white sheet of paper, always handy you see. You can see any that fall off that you wouldn't probably notice normally if you had um, just using the, the table. Again, all in there, all the little seeds. And um, they'll be ready then to sew. And there, fold it up. And that's it. And that's it. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. See, it's on there. And then, obviously, the bag's labelled, sealed up. And there you go, loads of seeds, guys. Woohoo! <laughs> Even the seeds are red coloured, just like the, uh, the mother plant. <laughs> so there you go. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of plant power. As always, from Ireland. Until the next video, guys. Bye!